I'll give you an update about what happened at the Queen Show in just a little bit. But remember that I said I have these twins, right? One's naughtier than the other. Well, when I looked in my storage, I knew I had a third one. But I don't remember how I got the fourth one. Anywho, um, I wish they had a tube or something that you could stack these with, but they're pretty cool. They're my favorite. One of my, some of my favorite purchases because they're the MTB Liberty. And I love the Statue of Liberty. Let me also show you some other things that I found in storage. I do have two of the Deke Pereira um, silver pieces that Mr. Zeke showed. I have one that looks like it came off the printing press and one that has a slight toning to it. It's like a, it's like, um, that, that purple from that Otter Pop, so it kind of has like that purple, gray toning. I also found, um, a real cool, um, Swiss of America round that I found that has like Skittles toning, where you can see like all the colors of the rainbow, which is cool. I'll keep that for myself. I have a Monox round. I have a USBI silver ingot. This is one of the ones that it's like, at least for me, I haven't found these too often. And um, everyone knows I love Johnson Matthew. This is um, a one ounce Golden State San Law Bank. You know that I have the 10 ounce bar. That's probably pretty rare because I haven't seen one of those before. So this is another one that's one ounce. And I have a Sharps Pixie um, bar from London. So what happened at... So there's a couple things that happened at the show yesterday. <coughs> I didn't do as well as I thought. But it did see silver or gold, and he actually purchased something for me. But when you add the, after um, paying for my table or whatever, um, I was only left with 50 bucks, so that's a little bit tougher. The second story is that there's this guy named Mike, and he has this folder full of um, photos of bars and rounds that he has. And it turns out he goes to one of the shops that I go to, um, um, Bob Patton's Coin Gallery in Orange, and uh, I've actually seen him there before, so that's why I thought I recognized him. He has a huge, huge collection of MTB and Liberty stuff. His folder was filled to the brim of cool things that's like silver, gold, Johnson Matthey, Inglehard, like you name it, he has it in the theme of um, Liberty, because I've, I've seen him there before, and I've overheard him say that he wants all of the stuff that are that have Lady Liberty on them, so that's why I recognized him. When he showed me the photos, he has Xerox copies in this huge, thick folder, like this big. Um, I was just like, my jaw was dr dropping to the floor. Like if Doug's buck could see that, he would have just like killed over. <laughs> and he would have, like, drooled, and he would have uh, uh, wanted, like, you know, just look at everything carefully and in person, I'm sure. Like, I would, too. But I thought that was really cool for him to share that. And some of his pieces, he had traded this guy um, on the East Coast for him, because some of these are based out of New York. So um, that's what he would do is trade for him, um various ounces and maybe like a little bit more so he could get something like this back to him. I thought that's really clever and um, he told me that he's been collecting them for years. He has like a wide variety in his stack but I was just really impressed because I saw some of the pieces that I have um, like the 120th ounce um, Johnson Matthey um, MTB Goldie Fractional and the one tenth ounce that I have. He has those in like various bar sizes and everything. But anywho, 
This video has gone pretty long. I hope everyone has a great week and take care and hopefully I'll have an update about the projects soon.